Not too long ago, Treyarch put out a little season six wrap up hype video where the devs talked about all the new stuff coming into season six. They talk about Warzone, they talk about zombies, they talk about multiplayer, and they even talked about Vanguard zombies a little bit, which I'm pretty hyped for that, man. The storyline of it sounds pretty cool, and we'll get to that towards the end of the video. Just to quickly address multiplayer, because, you know, this isn't a multiplayer channel, but just to quickly address it, because I do play it, the deprogram map and the America map look super sick. The deprogram map supposedly takes place in Adler's mind, and since he's been brainwashed by Stitch and whatever, we're going to see the bits and pieces of a pseudo reality and the real reality that Adler is trying to get back into, and they kind of put it together like revelations, and I, I just think that's badass. I, I really do. They go through all of the new weapons, the lever action shotgun, which reminds me a lot of the Argus from BO3 and BO4, where if you ADS, you get that tight spread or the slug in the case of BO3 and BO4. Probably not going to have a slug utilized with this shotgun like we did back in the day, but still going to be a cool shotgun nonetheless. The lightweight SMG, the Lapa, looks like a mix between the MP5 and the AK-74U, but kind of like a similar body style to that burst SMG we have. I'm blanking on the name right now, the KSG or the KGS or something. I'm interested to use that gun. It's probably going to be a pea shooter, but usually those guns are the most fun to use in zombies because when they get pack a punch, they just like slay bullets. They just like come out rapid fire style. It's going to be pretty interesting. We got the Grav, AKA the Galil. We've seen this gun a jabillion times. I thought that's what the Krig was supposed to be or maybe the Farah, but no, we get the Galil again. So not disappointed about that. And it sounds beautiful. They showed an audio sample inside of this preview. So go check that out. Link will be in the description. And then we got the Axe and the Hammer and Sickle. Now, normally I'm not a melee guy, but these are both going to be amazing for zombies, especially since we have the Wonder Weapon version and then you can use the Combat Axe version. So it's going to be a nice little mix up that we'll have for Forsaken specifically. Okay, moving on to the interesting part or what you probably came for, which is zombies. Now, Craig goes ahead and addresses the director, talks about how he's kept Samantha Maxis against her will, trying to get her to harness her powers, but he doesn't really like address it very much. I, I really thought that season six and DLC four was really going to hammer hard the director, Requiem's plans, Omega's plans, and the Forsaken, which obviously we're getting most of that, but the director thing kind of petered out. Maybe they're trying to keep it a surprise, but the trailer showed nothing about the director. And when we got Mauer or Toten, they really hammered in Valentina hard as going to be the big bad guy. That wasn't the case at all for this Forsaken trailer. Not that we really got a dedicated trailer, but the season six preview trailer in general, nothing to do with the director at all. So kind of weird that we don't get to see him or whoever it is. So then one of the other devs, I think his name's Anthony, he talks about the map and how it's laid out and what exactly it is. And it's a training facility for Dark Ether Research. It has been turned into that. He also talks about the layout of the map and he says it's a loop, which really caught my attention because normally we don't have maps like that. The last loop-esque map that we've had was Spaceland, if I can recall correctly. That map did have a centerpiece, but you could go around the whole entire map on the back end with opening all the doors going from main hub to main hub to main hub just through looping around the back end of the map as i just said so we've never had a map specifically like this before usually we have a centerpiece and then three main areas spawning off of that center area and this layout sounds very interesting and they really hammered in that we're going to be using teleporters so i guess it makes sense that we can kind of just like loop around each specific area depending on where we are we're just gonna have to see how it is i'm not saying this is bad or good i I, I'm glad they're trying new layouts. I think that's a, a good thing. Experimenting with different ideas, trying new ways to execute the mode. Um, no, I'm all for it. PhD slider. They briefly talk about this and the slide looks super fast. And that's all I've ever wanted. It's all I've ever wanted. You jump off buildings, blowing everything up, sliding, blowing everything up, speed slide, running super fast with stamina up. This is going to be a great perk. I wasn't too excited about it, like I have said in another in another video, but this perk I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have this on screen or not, because it's kind of hard to see. But if you look at the PhD machine when they're talking about the design of it, there's actually these yellow crystals above it, like hanging off the wall, uh, like a stalactite or something. And it reminds me a lot of the rampage crystals. So maybe this is where we got those to speed the zombies to get them like angered or whatever, because normally we see the purple dark ether crystals. So 
if we tie this to when the abomination comes out of the portal, it turns like reddish yellow. So maybe there's like a whole nother side color wise that we can see inside of the dark ether with these crystals. I, I don't know. I'm just kind of putting that out there. I don't really have any big ideas about it. I just thought it was an interesting note. Then they really talk about the wonder weapon a lot. And I got to say, Dylan, I don't know if I'm going to be sending you the full 20 here, brother, because uh, the axe actually does shoot out an energy blade, like I said. So we were both right with our bet. So I don't know, man, we got to talk about this a little further before we just go around PayPal and people, you know, and going on with this bet. Okay, enough of the bet. This is personal matters. Can't be talking about that in the video. The mystical axe looks awesome. It's a axe and an SMG, as you already know. It's called the Crystal Axe, and we got to see some gameplay footage of it. It looks pretty sick, guys. I'm, I know I was being kind of a poopy pants about it. The SMG sounds really good. It looks like it's going to be really fun. I know it looks like the nail gun, and that really bothers me because it just looks so small. They made the combat axe and the nail gun so small, and this wonder weapon just looks puny, and I was hoping that it was going to be like a big, beefy, dark ether wonder weapon, but it just looks so tiny, and I don't know, maybe they designed it that way. It's small, but it packs a big punch. They also showed the RC car in action, which I don't know. It looks okay. I'm not totally hating on it. I felt pretty lukewarm about this the whole time, so my expectations aren't blown away. They're not met either. It's just another tool in the toolbox, as the devs say. The hand cannon has got me hyped. I love the hand cannon. It's such a fun weapon, and we're definitely going to be going back to the other maps and testing it out in each boss fight because I want to see if it's actually worth a damn. I'm tired of using the death machine in the Mauritor Toten boss fight. I'm tired of using the flamethrower in side of the D-Machina ending boss arena area. I just want something new. I want something different. I want to mix it up. And before we get into the Vanguard stuff, and I guess a couple other things about Forsaken, they brought up Outbreak randomly out of nowhere inside of this interview. Craig was asked how he felt about Outbreak. And the way they talked about it, it really made it seem as if they're not going to do it again. And I hope that is the case so freaking hard i do not ever want to play outbreak again let's keep it contained inside of cold war let's not bring it over to vanguard let's just keep it in this little game keep this to one side mode one experience keep the legion boss fight keep the uh, operation inversia and operation excision or whatever it's called let's just keep that contained one and done all right we do it with all the other side modes let's not be bringing it over to the next game okay it took away too many resources and i just I, frankly i don't want to see it i don't want to see it i'm I'm done with it, okay? We're, we, you should all be done with it. Actually, if you like it, I hope you like it. You know, I want people to be happy. I just don't like it. But then they go on to talk about new challenges inside of, you know, the game. They're going to be updating challenges inside of Outbreak, adding new calling cards, adding new Dark Ops challenges, all that stuff. Obviously, that's great. They also talk about the Abomination, aka the Margwa 2.0, and... Yeah, I'm all for it. I loved the Margwa. It was one of my favorite enemies. It's nice to have this map be super mystical and magical and cinematic. It seems like they're going for the more traditional zombies method with this map. Mauder Toten was a step in the right direction, but the whole facility, city, bunker kind of thing is still present in this, which I'm not totally excited about. But this season of Cold War Zombies was heavily grounded in reality to an extent, obviously but really based inside of the scientific laboratory kind of ideology. So I'm not totally disappointed with it, but I'm glad it's over and we're going to be moving on to Vanguard, which Craig did talk about a little bit. He was saying how Cold War was specifically designed to be focusing on this Nazi experiment inside of the bunkers, inside of the laboratories. But the next season in Vanguard has to do with the occult. So take these systems, tweak them a little bit, remove Outbreak and Onslaught because we don't need those again. Go back to the fantasy realm of the cult and the dark magic. Yeah, sign me up, buddy. I'm all for it, dude. Are you kidding me? I am actually super stoked about this. I wish they could say more. October 19th, I bet we're going to get some sort of reveal trailer or reveal event, which was also confirmed. Not the date, guys. Not the date. The date was not confirmed, but an event is coming, and this is from the mouth of the new Sledgehammer Games Twitter 
other person, the communications director, I forget her name off the top of my head. I'll put her on the screen. You can see her. She said that there is going to be an event coming for zombies and she can't confirm anything other than that there is intel inside of the game alluding to a doctor who had some artifact, which we have known about for a while. And I believe the Gaming Revolution and DK Dynamite and the other few zombies YouTubers that talk about the storyline, Mr. Raffle Waffles, people like that, they have addressed this artifact that was found inside season five with some symbols and runes on it and you know which ties directly with what craig was saying so let's go dude let's go whatever dude whatever the kids say you know what i'm talking about i'm super happy that craig gave us that information about the occult because that couldn't have come at a better time it really has put my hopes up a little bit for vanguard zombies i was pretty nervous about it but the aesthetic of the maps and the storyline i'm really starting to see how much that affects my involvement with the game and these settings inside of cold war have just been so uninspiring to me personally for those who like it out there i am happy for you i want people to like the game i just personally didn't resonate with it this particular season this particular chapter so the darkness the darker storylines the darker story elements that's my bread and butter i just like that stuff when we went into the chaos story this is kind of what it reminds me of i think craig is going to get to reuse bits and pieces of the chaos story that he didn't have time to execute or the budget to execute and bring it over into Cold War Zombies and explore a darker tone of what we were doing inside of the Chaos Cruise storyline. So I am super happy about that. I, yeah, I couldn't be more thrilled. So I think that's going to do it for now. I mean, there's not really much more to say. We're going to be streaming tonight. We're going to be playing Forsaken at midnight when it drops or yeah, yeah, at midnight. We're going to try to go for high rounds, do round 100, figure out where the Wonder Weapon is, do the trials, get, hit the mystery box, play with the new weapons, all that stuff, spend $10,000 in the store on everyone's parents credit card so just send me those credit card numbers as soon as you can you can find me on discord and that's gonna do it for uh, this video guys so thank you so much for watching and i will see you all later tonight peace guys